Greater Lafayette, Purdue University, and Purdue Research Park Aerospace District are a hub of research and development for international companies, including Rolls-Royce, GE Aviation, and Praxair. Just minutes from Indianapolis, Lafayette was recently ranked number two in Forbes' Best Small Cities for Business and Careers for its increased employment and economic outlook. The quality of life in Greater Lafayette is more than economic development. It is a place where people and families thrive through top-ranked schools, restaurants, parks, and festivals. Central to these activities, Purdue is a top-ranked public university with about 35,000 undergraduate students and more than 450,000 alumni. 23 astronauts are among the graduates, including the first and last man who walked on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Amelia Earhart taught aviation at Purdue. Purdue supports and encourages talent, innovation, and startups to stay and thrive in Greater Lafayette. In fact, 44% of Purdue graduates are employed in Indiana. Being here on staff um, is, is an adjustment from being a student, but Lafayette has so much to offer. Um, the restaurants, the, the music scene, uh, we have our own symphony here. There's uh, tons of great parks and trails in the area too. So no matter what sort of things you like to do in your free time, uh, the, the area offers that. I have made this my home. I think that the, the companies that we have here in the, especially the biotech industry, which I'm most familiar with, are some of the leading companies in the world uh, and are, are doing some of the most innovative things around. Uh, so. That's number, that's number one, you know, at the core of all of it, when you're looking for a job, you want to make the most impact in, on people's lives. And I think that companies uh, that I'm familiar with here are, are really doing that and are really leading the charge uh, in nationwide and, and really impacting and innovating. Uh, some of the other things that would really entice people to, to come here would be to just get people to experience what it's like. Um, I grew up in a big city in, in St. Louis and did all of the activities and all the fun things to do and all the, the, the zoos and festivals and, and concerts and, and all of that and I don't feel as though I'm really missing any of that here. I have many of the same opportunities, I'm, seeing, I'm doing a lot of the same things and it's just in a more uh, concentrated area and I don't have to drive uh, an hour to, to get there. So Purdue felt like home, West Lafayette felt like home. I felt like after four years at Purdue, I knew campus really well, I knew West Lafayette, but I still had a lot to explore in Greater Lafayette. Uh, my fiance lives in the Chicago area, and it's funny because nine weekends out of 10, we end up here uh, doing things in the area because it's easy. The cost of everything is cheaper than it would be in a larger city. Uh, it's easy to navigate. The quality of life is high. There are things to do without it being super overwhelming. Yeah, is home to Purdue and I think that's a huge draw for this area. Obviously we have 40,000 or so students that come here every year, but not only that, it attracts um, young professionals as well um, and older adults as well coming in trying to find a job here and the environment here is awesome. You get everything from a Big Ten college, so events, football games, um, community, farmers markets, uh, concerts that they put on, things like that, which is really awesome. Um, but you know, you don't have to go to the big city to find those things as well. So it's a really good place um, to come live and start a family or set up um, and start your career here and finding those opportunities along the way. Purdue holds a number of career fairs for graduate and undergraduate students where future professionals meet with local, state, and national recruiters. So I like the feel of this area because you get a little bit of the big city with Indy being only an hour away, but then you can also come back here and you can still get that little bit of a small town feeling, but it's not really a small town because of how many people that are here. And because it's so close to a college town, you get a little bit of everything. It's a mix of everything here. I like being able to have kind of whatever you're feeling that day, you can go out and find something that you want to do. If a highly technical firm came here, one of the big benefits um, for me or even anyone from a different university is that Purdue University is right here. So continuing education would be really, really easy and you could do on-campus education as opposed to online, which I'm not a big fan of. The, the second thing is 
whatever you get paid here is going to stretch farther in Lafayette. You know, Lafayette cost of living is very, very low. And so making a competitive salary here versus something in Los Angeles, you're going to spend most of that on travel. You're also going to spend two hours a day driving. Um, and so there, there are a lot of benefits to living in a small town, especially next to such a large major research university. Other graduates are founding startups and employing talent from Purdue's alumni pool. Alumni like Michael Berger, who is now a partner in Del Mar Software Development. I think it's the, for me, it's the right, it's a, it's a big small town. Um, and so that, by that I mean um, there's, there's no traffic, low cost of living. You actually bump into people um, that you know. Um, if you, and you don't have to have lived here very long uh, for that. So it's, a, it's that sense of tight-knit community. But especially with the university, um, you. you have world-class acts that come into LA Hall of Music. You uh, can go watch Big Ten basketball, um, and like I'm home five minutes after. You know, the, the coach's show is not done on the radio yet by the time I'm home from the games. Um, and so you can take advantage of the things I liked about college, hanging out with friends, um, and, and all and all of that is still. And there's always a, a newness. There's always new people coming in. There's a lot of multicultural. I mean, from the restaurants to the people. Uh, people come all over the world here, um, and so I don't have to go all over the world to to interact with those people and those kind of events and things. Yeah, I did undergraduate, went straight into a master's degree, and then started uh, Del Mar, the software company, with one of my professors right out of grad school. At that time, honestly, I was being a student on campus, I really wasn't aware of a lot of what was available. So I so, sort of slowly uh, figured it out. But, but at that time, the, the main connection was that um, Number one was I had uh, a potential business partner that believed in believed in the idea, and that I didn't know who these guys were, but that hey, there will be other smart students coming through that could uh, you know join up with us um, at the at the right time. Uh, it, it was a right tool for young smart talent, um, and, and so that that was this was a good place to start. And I think that um, a lot of stuff that they, that people talk about. Um, is is really true that uh, you know cost of living here is pretty cheap. You're you're close to Indianapolis, so whether that's for personal enjoyment, you can go down to a Colts game and be there in less than an hour, um, or for business connections, um, larger larger clients, investors, things like that are are here are here as well. So there's that there's that nice mix. MBA graduate. Haroon Chadra co-founded Passageways in 2003 after winning $7,000 in Purdue's Burton D. Morgan business plan competition. Today, this software solutions company employs 50 professionals with plans to add another 20 in 2017. About 50% of Passageways employees are Purdue alumni. The company has been placed on the Inc. 5000 list of America's fastest growing private companies. Passageways recently opened offices in London and Mumbai. So first off, I should say that, you know, uh, there are several ways of thinking about where to locate your business. You know, every business, every founder has to make that determination at some point or the other. You know, some important factors, of course, uh, you know, in today's world, uh, you know, talent pool is a big factor. Where's your capital going to be sourced from? That's another important factor. You know, uh, where your customers are is another important factor when you think about where to, be, you know, where to build your business. What's the cost of doing business in a particular geography? That's an important factor. When you think about all these different factors, it, it is, you know, Midwest is an interesting choice. It's a choice that I didn't know much about and I, you know, made it very early and I've actually benefited from that since then. Um, let me tell you what's what's interesting about you know uh, about where I, you know Lafayette actually fits into all of this. Silicon Valley is the eighth largest you know economy in the world, okay. Uh, and you know for somebody who came all the way from India to the United States to do his education, I'm talking about myself. You know I am tempted to go, and I have a record of going where the opportunity is. Silicon Valley is the eighth largest economy in the world. On that account, it's an attractive place to go move and build your technology business. But the fact is, Midwest is the fifth largest economy in the world. It is a larger economy than UK. It's actually a, you know, a comparable economy to the entire country of India. So while you can continue to optimize where you want to be, 
and you know you can continue to get to a bigger and bigger spot the fact is midwest has an abundance of talent there are more computer scientists that come out of midwest than any other part of the country and that is true even compared to california uh, lafayette indiana in particular you know purdue has some amazing talent here we have lots of computer scientists coming out uh, every year we also have a computer school of computer technology is an interesting you know um, uh, product that they put out and very you know uh, smart people we have benefited from that there's a school of uh, selling and sales management uh, uniquely there are a couple hundred kids who, who graduate every year who want to go out and sell products the greater Lafayette area will continue to expand with its strong pipeline of talent and treasure close proximity to Indianapolis, and anticipated growth of its planned $1 billion innovation district. For more information, call 765-588-3462 or visit purdueaerospace.com.